she looking like today? Same old, same old. Same old outfit, same old glasses. Same old, same old. Same old thing, same old town, same old fucking day every day. Groundhog day, day in, day out. Life is seemingly like that. <laughs> and uh, that's part of my problem, actually. Watch out, seagulls is I'm having, we're going to Tim Hortons. It's early in the morning. It's like uh, 8.15 and I'm really craving. They have these uh, these burritos, these wraps, not burritos, these wraps, breakfast wraps, the sausage egg, a hash brown in it, some cheese um, and chipotle sauce. And they're quite banging. Always this line up, it always is in the morning. But, uh, and then after this, I'm probably gonna go to the walk-in clinic and see if I can get put on a different uh, SSRI. I'm gonna try something else because I know it may not seem like it on camera and this is a rare instance. This is why I haven't been uploading much because I've just been in a real bad spot up here. I really haven't had much of an appetite lately. In fact, I've been sick to my stomach because I've been in such a fucking <laughs> rough spot in my dome and we'll explain that uh, in this video as we eat these wraps as of late this is rare for me to like even have much of an appetite to be craving anything to be even in not that i've been in, in a bad mood at, at all per se because i'm not moody i'm just really fucking low <laughs> and uh but also full of fear and anxiety and like discomfort and this can all be explained, but uh, this video is not for the lighthearted. This is be pretty, uh, pretty deep and I'm gonna just say it how it is. And then whoever says whatever they want, they can say, but. All right, y'all, we got the two wraps. They're pretty big, size of my head. Wrap headphones, what's up? But uh, these are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty dope because I just like how they're designed. They're very efficient with the, with the packaging, just a little zip around and uh and then the top pops off and you got your little wrap holder Mc mcdonald's did this originally back in the day and then inside you got your egg your sausage cheese a hash breezy and uh i asked for extra chipotle sauce you all know how i'm an extra saucy kind of guy but yeah let's have a real real talk I know it doesn't seem like it, but today is a good day. It feels pretty good. I'm not going to lie, which is good because I think I'm coming out of the back end of something that I've been, it's just been a long road since, since getting, getting off the liquor, going to the hospital, uh, some shit happened to me during all that, that I didn't really process at the time that was pretty traumatic. And I think my brain didn't really know how to deal with it properly or, and it kind of looped on this, these fears, but anyways, let's have a bite of this first and then we'll talk about that. I'm not on the zoom cam. So it won't really zoom in on it, but they are delicious. Anyhow, uh, basically, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but on like the withdrawal and everything, I had some mental experiences that were pretty like scary. That my brain kind of hung on to as truth when it's not in reality, which uh, stirred up like a constant state of like panic and fear. Irrational though, however. And I got caught in like a two month long fear loop in my head. I'm, I'm like getting better because I did a bunch of research about like what could possibly be happening and I 
I read stuff and also I was taking this new meds and I was having horrendous nightmares, like crazy nightmares. So basically upon waking, I was basically immediately in a state of just existential fear and dread most days. And, uh, we're getting into the saucy bites. So my body was in like a fight, flight, freeze, but mostly a freeze response. I felt like I just couldn't do anything. Like everything became like scary. Like just even being conscious was scary. Like being in my own body. Like what is this life? What is life? Um, I even got so... stuck in a fear state that my stomach would start to turn and hurt and I would actually I actually vomited a few times just like water because like I couldn't keep anything down I was just so in such a heightened state of of like fight or flight and fear and I like couldn't function and I tried to make videos, I tried to upload, and just everything was, I don't know, I just couldn't, I couldn't really do it. I could barely eat, and like, I would get on camera, and I would start to like, really dissociate, because I'd start to see myself on the screen, and it, like, I already was feeling weird in my body, and then I'd see that, and it, it would be uh, like, like a meta, it'd be meta, and then I'd start to like, just really dissociate. And that would give me anxiety. And then I was so wrapped up in this like anxiety and fear that I was starting to lose like almost like my identity. Like I'm like, 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 <laughs> and, and I felt like I was like, am I going to get out of this? Will I be able to get back to where I was like? And then day, just day by day, it just starts. Like taking you over and becoming too much. And all I wanted to do was sleep. And so I feel as if I, I literally just went through or I'm going through like the lowest time thing I've ever felt in my life. But what is also wild is that I've been here before in the past. I've been through these states. And when I think of them, when I think back to them, I go, yeah, I remember how rough that was. It feels similar. This one's got less uh, open flap on it. And then I think back and I go, yeah, I remember how bad it was. But I always, you, like, somehow just got through it. And then there was, like, a, a stretch of really good, just life felt good. The only difference now is back then I was younger and I was like still hopeful and uh, you know I was like oh I'm in this cooler city and I'm, I'm chasing my, my creative stuff and uh, you know there's adventures still and I have all these friends around me that are creative and you know but this time it's like I'm older I'm back where I started, which reminds me of all my failures, basically. I don't, it's like every day I'm just on this Ferris wheel spinning around and 
it's a boring ass ferris wheel and i can see like the other rides and you'd be like yeah get off and go do another ride like sign up for a whatever class or go swimming or go for a walk in nature but none of those fer none of those rides interest me <laughs> as and, and even as, as per interest me they, they're not gonna fix excuse me fix my dilemma and that's basically staring like mundanity mundanity or defeat or just in the face of like trying to get back on the saddle hurdle like trying to find the next thing that's going to drive me to a a more expansive place in my life rather than taking steps what feels like steps backwards So I'm being met with a lot of like, living in this fear, which I'm trying to get out of, this like not feeling right in your own body, anxiety and that shit from like a traumatic event. So like a PTSD type feeling. And then trying to reconstruct or aim for this my next move, my new identity, who I'm supposed to become, like what I'm going to do to feel like fulfilled in life. And I feel like where I am geographically, there's not much of that here for me. Very perfect combo. The chipotle sauce makes it so you know there's and this is what sucks is like there's people out there who have shit way harder in a sense but you know we all each have our own individual lives and struggles but the thing is like having stuff Almost none of it matters if you're like struggling up here to just like, to just be. Shelter though definitely is helpful to have if you're in a rough spot, but. And I know there's people out there who don't have any of that and are struggling up here probably even more so because they just see like they're just like oh my situation's absolutely fucked so I don't know. It's weird. Unless you're going through it, you don't you can't really explain it to somebody unless they you're they they're going through it or they've been through it or but it's just like a traumatic event. Uh su suffering like a cyclical loop memory of said traumatic event pushes you into a space where you're in a constant fear state. You don't feel like even at home or welcome in your own body and just shit gets really you can't exist in the present all your survival faculties and this fear loop take over and like you can't focus you can't just enjoy simple things like you can't even watch a tv show and enjoy it because you're not there, you're not present. You're like all in here, it's just all in here. And it's chatter and it's and it's uh, a lot of negativity. Well, you're trying to fight for positivity, but 
the mind is a wild thing. So you end up in this space that's just like, you feel so like a prisoner in your own mind. You feel so trapped. And that's why all you want to do is sleep or get faded. <laughs> you know, that's why I like to get faded because is because of that was it's quiet down and i don't know like i'm actually some for some reason somehow like if i had drinks i'm almost better at doing the shit that i like to do it's like it's weird it's like i can get into a more better like fl more relaxed flow state and just do things and it's like fun but now it's like i don't get that same relief anymore right there's going to be some of you who get it. Some of you who've been through it, going through it, resonate. And there's going to be some of you who have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. And uh, consider yourself lucky if you're that person. Because this type of shit in life is... Like, people who battle with this shit... It's like, it's, it's like the hardest struggle. It's like... <laughs> It's literally you you in your body are, and you're your own worst enemy. So if you don't know what it's like, if you're lucky enough to never have to deal with this shit, I would suggest <laughs> say something nice or say nothing at all like you've been taught because you can't speak on other people's almost invisible or intangible personal experience from a place of inexperience. So there's no point to speak on it, you know? And that's why there's so much stigma about like mental health and the shit people, because it's so interior, it's the it's your internal world, which you can't prove it to anybody, but to you, <laughs> it's the realest shit you'll ever deal with. So if you're somebody who just breezes through life and you're, you're all stoic and every day's happy and good and like oh yeah i'm and you, you just love your you love what you're doing and you're satisfied and content you're you, you are the most wealthy person <laughs> you uh you've got it made in the shade but if you're not like that then you're struggling and i know what you're struggling with and it fucking sucks to be blunt <laughs> It just fucking sucks. So yeah. Grateful to have an appetite today. Grateful to to feel pretty normal and just be, be able to, to actually just enjoy myself a little bit. Because <laughs> it hasn't been the case for a good little while here. And uh, I kept putting out some videos. But even then, I like I was making those videos. I was, you know, I was not not hot not doing hot so <laughs> really shit i ever wrote i don't know probably not we've been we've said a lot of things on this channel but this is one of them so till the next one <laughs> eat good live well <laughs> take your ssris maybe do some meditation some yoga <laughs> uh search for your purpose follow it if you can and stay true